Long time no see, Slayer. How's tricks? Sid? The one and only. I know, I know, you haven't been the same since I left. The ladies love the wood. Lovely. You're still a class act. What are you doing here, Sid? I thought when your demon hunting days were over, your soul had left that dummy body behind. Moved on to the old proverbial better place? Been there, done that, babe. And now I'm back. You're not the only one. I know. Kakistos. Wait, how? No time for punchlines, sweetheart. If you're looking to go after Kakistos, he went that away. Fine. But I want to know what's going on around here. We're going to have a talk later, you and me. How's it going, guys? Back again for part two of Chaos Bleeds on my Buffy the Vampire Slayer Let's Play. And uh, her jump is kind of floaty, I've noticed. It's a little, uh, takes a while for her to come back down. Ow. Ah. I tell you what, when these characters get the uh, enemies get behind you off screen like this, it's really hard to get situated uh, to see where they are. I wish there was like, you could like tap left bumper or something and then it would point you to the direction. Not necessarily a lock on, but just in the general direction of the enemy. Because the camera is so slow to turn around. You have to turn yourself around, you have to turn the camera around. It's not very intuitive. You kind of have to do, like right there, I had... <laughs> God damn it. You have to do kind of a... You, you kind of have to like run away a little bit and kind of you turn back. Like, like, see, I have to kind of like turn around. Oh, that was a fail. Wow. I kind of thought those were kind of heat seeking. And it would just kind of go down where he was on the ground. Oh my god, these guys are a pain in the ass! Oh my goodness. See, like, I couldn't even see him! I guess I should have stopped and turned the camera around. And it's real... you can't, uh... You can't control the camera's speed. So you're kind of st stuck with a little bit of a sluggish turnaround. Okay. They just don't make them like they used to. Uh, what I remember about this area is uh, keys, and I think you have to put a puzzle together to open a door. I do believe. I need to use my block more. That's for sure. So do these guys just keep coming? Is it like a monster closet here in this area? Like maybe I just need to get moving. So the guys will keep, uh, stop popping out. Okay. There we go. Alrighty. Keys or ah, here we go. Sundial piece. That's what it was. All right. Why I remember that, I don't know. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Okay. Still got a little bit of that slowdown. Hopefully you'll have the common sense to stay dead this Oh, that's right. I got to put uh pull this coffin over. No? Got to pull something. Oh, this air. Here we go. All right. Solving puzzles, getting sundials, destroying zombies, all in a day's work for Buffy Summers. Little pigs, little pigs. Ah, never mind. I'll find another way. This game was put out um, just a year after the original Buffy the Vampire Slayer game, and it looks, I mean, graphically, it looks a lot better. I don't feel like it plays as well. Um, Hopefully you'll have the common sense to stay. Oh yeah, I think dead you can jump through this window. I think. No? There we go. Uh oh. Like that right there. There's a that's a perfect example. Um 
her area of effect on her attacks is super tight. Like in the first game, if they were around you, like you could knock back three or four guys. It's uh, I mean, it's got to be pixel perfect. Her boot has got to be on their face. Um, the other game would give you a little bit. Her attacks would, you know, give you an extra six or seven inches there on that uh, on those kicks and punches. So I know I'm noticing that when I'm fighting. When I'm fighting, ooh, goodness. Look how slow they're running. Look at that. Look at that. What the hell is going on with this game? <laughs> Man. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Okay. It's like I had to get rid of a character before the uh, court one to render the courtyard. Like right there, I should not have missed that. There we go. So yeah, it's just, it's just not as tight, uh, control-wise. Uh, control-wise with the camera, control-wise with the fighting. I mean, the moves are basically the same, but the range, she just doesn't have the range. Ooh, I like that. I like that little backhand she just did just there. That was a nice little animation. Uh, get off me. There we go. I like the stick. The stick is kind of nice. Okay, so we got uh, two sundial pieces. I don't remember how many... Ha I think you have to have four. I think it's like a pie where you have to have four pieces. They just don't make them like they used to. They just don't make them like they used to. Oh boy. To. There's no lock. Must be some. So that carried device. over from the game from the previous year. Uh, her saying the same oh. things over and over again. What do we have here? Finders keepers. All right, some hellfire that I can't throw. Some holy water that I can't throw. Oh yeah, and by the way, what is up with not being able to uh, combine things? I don't know if you guys remember the first Buffy game, but you could combine uh, items to make other items, and you could combine holy water with your crossbow bolts. Um, most of the faces oh, it looks like it's only three pieces. Okay. Um, but anyway, yeah, you could, you could combine uh, the Hellfire with crossbow bolts, so you had fire. So I don't know. Maybe that's something that comes later in the game. But I am not even seeing... Uh, I'm not seeing that in the menu. Like, before you, you would go to your inventory. You don't really have an inventory here. Uh, you go to your inventory, and you could combine items. Combine crystals and elixirs and... Um, crossbow bolts, the fire, the holy water, and this game has none of that. It's opening the door. Oh. Okay, where's that door? Is that in here or out here? It's out here. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> oh man. I, may, I guess that's just, it's loading, and I guess maybe when you're coming through a door and it's loading an area. I mean, I guess that's what's happening. That's total speculation on my part. It, do, it does not do that on the original Xbox. That I know, that I, that much I do remember. This is, this is definitely a Xbox to Xbox 360 compatibility issue. Hey, lots of, uh, lots of undead in the cemetery. Oh, come off it. I was trying to kick him. It's so much easier if you can kick. I'll bet you there's a door that goes with this. Okay. All right, so I guess we're going to walk back through this door here, and is it, I wonder if it's going to make us go in slow motion again here. No? Now, see, that didn't, that didn't have any problem loading, loading in. Interesting. I'm gonna kick your ass while I'm out of here. 
Man, I've got to figure out how to kick these guys. They just don't make oh, so much easier to kick them to punch when they're down on the ground like that. I'd rather not knock them on the ground at all. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, man. Knocked the hell out of him. Oh. <laughs> Hid his death behind the table. It's too gruesome. Wow. Um, that's another point I would like to make. Uh, point. Get it? No pun intended. Uh, vampires are much, much easier to kill in this game. It is not even close. That's the other thing. Uh, I'll throw that out there. Uh, there's no difficulty levels. No difficulty setting on this. I'm fine where it's at. I mean, I don't need anything else against me right now. Uh, but the first game had difficulty settings. This one does not. It's a one default setting. Yeah, come get some, buddy. Get some, big guy. Wow. Wow, see, like, they were a little bit different. Uh, what, what the hell just happened there? Oh, I knocked him into that uh, bench. That was pretty cool. That, that felt good. Um, those big guys like that in the original game were tough. You really had... I think what they're doing here is they're making the vampires easier to kill, but throwing more of them at you at once. <laughs> Like, there seems to be a lot more enemies. Like, I've killed already. This is only part two. I've killed a lot more enemies at this point in the game than I did in the first you game. Looking for me? Ah! Damn it. Oh, my God. I missed so many times with those big, big kicks. Oh, shit. Okay, see, now all of a sudden I'm in trouble after bragging about how easy these guys were. Shit. Okay, he's blocking everything. Oh, there we go. There we go. Ca good counter. Good counter. Stab him. Nice. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Oh, see? He, he held up. Nice. There, good block. Good block. If I do say so myself. Okay. That felt good. That felt good. Okay. That was one of the more interesting fights. Oh, God, these guys. Let's see if I can... Ah. No. In the first game, you kind of had a football kick or soccer kick. Where you could just run up to him and punt him. Just hit him in the face. Let's see here. I'm trying to... Okay. All right. Look at that. Nice. All right. So if you hold down the LB button, left bumper, and then toggle over. Yeah. Look at that. Dance fever, baby. Nice. Okay. Another locked door, but this one looks. Oh yeah. I think you just yeah you just knock these guys down. Need a key. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, guys! There we go. Okay. <laughs> it's like for a moment she's stuck in molasses. That had to be because I broke the door down. That has to be what's going on. They're just. It's loading a level. And maybe not necessarily the level that we're seeing with our eyes, but maybe like beyond, like beyond those walls, things are loading in. Right, get off. You're trying to defeat me with s small, slow load times. Okay. Anything back here? Oh yeah, here we go. Goodies. I like goodies. Hey, look guys, I found stuff. You can't yell at me for not, fi not finding this. Although I have no doubt I've already passed up secrets. I have no doubt of that whatsoever. Ugh. 
I'm moving so slowly. <laughs> I mean, it hasn't caused my death, so that's good. I mean, I haven't died because of it. But man. Oh. oh, goodness. These guys are knocking me down. These. I think they made. I'll say that. They made the zombies tougher. The zombies, uh, when they hit you, it hurts a lot more than it did in that first game. First game, these guys were just kind of nothing. Man, look at that. Knocking me on my ass. There we go. I need to use my. Use my blocking skills. My avoidance skills and my slow ass moving skills. Yeah, take that. 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 Oh crap. And that. Oh, come on. How did I miss him? Oh no. No. Oh my god, we're gonna have to start a death counter? I don't want to start a death counter in this game. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what guys I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this over again. I'm gonna cut this out. I'm gonna try to figure out if we can do something about this slowdown. Maybe clear out the uh, 360's cache or something like that. Figure this out. <laughs> Okay, guys, back again. Uh, back in the same area I was earlier. I've uh, cleared out the Xbox 360's cache. Restarted the Xbox. And it is 100% not any better. It is uh, just as slow as it was. <laughs> that looked better. But, I mean, if I guess if you want to imagine it being like the John Woo stranglehold slow motion action if we want to do that we'll just pretend that the, all this is on purpose but maybe maybe we'll figure this out i um here's where i died back again here oh my god it's, yeah look at that Woo! Anyway, I was not expecting to die. Um, but yeah, getting back... I hate to keep harping on this, but getting back to that first game. Um, that first game, you could uh, get crystals and stuff and bring them to Willow, and it would increase your health bar and increase your magic bar. If I could just move this that has not happened yet in this game, and like I said uh, at the beginning, I didn't finish this game, so maybe that's later on. Maybe I'm complaining about nothing. Maybe later on you can combine items and uh, and get upgrades. Um, but right now I'm not seeing it because, like I said, I don't even see the menu for it. I don't even see like an inventory uh, menu there where I could do anything. Oh God. Okay, Buffy. It's been well established that Buffy the Vampire Slayer is not a platformer. Uh, so when they make you do stuff like that, oh, look at this. What do we have here? A medipack? Holy water? <laughs> hmm. That feels weird. Okay. Alright, Buffy. So, like, right now, like, there's no... Let's see what it does here. No problem there, but maybe that's not that's because it's not a big area. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I think this is a good place to uh, to stop it. Um, we got pretty far through that courtyard, and here's some more hellfire and shit I can't throw. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay. Those dead guys. Okay, so I just I just had to do the action. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm gonna sound like such a such a, like such a bitch bitching about this, but once again, in the first game, when you held a hellfire or holy water, it, it animated in your hand. You could see it; it was glowing in your hand. I wonder if that's a, a backwards compatibility thing, or if this game just said "fuck it, we're not gonna do that." Huh? Weird. 
Well, anyway, guys, that, that's the end of this episode. Uh, stay tuned for episode three.